Hi there, I'm Carol Timmings. I've been a registered nurse for over 30 years. I began as an acute care pediatric nurse, and after a few years, I moved to focus on public health. I'm honored to be the current president of the Registered Nurses Association of Ontario, and I'm committed to enhancing population health and reducing health disparities. I love being a nurse. We are one of the most trusted professions in the country, and for good reason. We're dedicated to the health and well-being of people, having worked hard to develop our nursing competencies, knowledge, and skills. Because of this trust, we are leaders in our organizations, the health system, and our communities. That being said, we all know that being a nurse is very challenging. That's why self-care and healthy work environments are so important in our profession and for our patients and clients. I want to talk about something that has the potential to affect us all, the seasonal flu, in particular the influenza vaccine, and I want to discuss it using an evidence-based approach. I should point out that I'm talking about the influenza virus. You know, there's a lot of ambiguity out there. Many people use the term flu to refer to any illness caused by a virus, like a stomach bug or the common cold. But influenza causes illness that has the potential to spread widely and cause severe illness and complications. On a global scale, influenza affects an estimated 5 to 10 percent of adults each year, and the attack rate is even higher in children. Based on information provided by the National Advisory Committee on Immunization, it is estimated that an average of 12,000 hospitalizations and over 3,000 deaths occur annually due to influenza and its complications. As health professionals, we are at a higher risk for getting influenza than other adults. Our frequent exposure to patients with influenza puts us at a higher risk to contract the virus, and our close contact with patients means we can spread infection to others. So what can nurses do to prevent this? We have our toolbox of infection prevention and control strategies, such as isolating infected individuals, trusting our strong surveillance systems, properly using personal protective equipment, and consistently cleaning all commonly touched surfaces. As individuals, we can practice optimal hand hygiene and cough into our elbows and not our hands, avoid touching our face, stay home when ill, and get the flu shot. It's this last point that I want to focus on. Although the effectiveness of the influenza vaccine varies each year, on average, a vaccinated person reduces their chance of getting influenza by about half. The commonly used influenza vaccines in Canada contain a mixture of surface proteins purified from inactivated influenza viruses. This means you can't get the flu from the vaccine. However, when injected, the immune system makes antibodies that circulate in the body. When exposed to influenza, these antibodies bind influenza surface proteins and prevent the virus from invading cells and direct other immune system cells to kill the virus. The flu vaccine is designed to protect against the three or four influenza viruses that scientists have noted are most likely to cause illness during the flu season. As you know, flu viruses constantly evolve, so the vaccine is made yearly based on recommendations from the World Health Organization. Much of the time, the right strains are chosen. However, because of the constant change of the virus, on occasion, the strains in the vaccine don't match the circulating strain. That being said, even if there is a less than optimal match, the vaccine generally still provides some protection. Like in all other aspects of healthcare, researchers are constantly working to make vaccines more effective. So here's where the influenza vaccine is limited. The shot doesn't protect you from other respiratory viruses, only against influenza. The flu vaccine does not provide perfect protection and varies in how well it works, so some people who get vaccinated may still get influenza. Let's look at some of the facts. The flu shot is safe. The most common side effects are redness, soreness or swelling where the shot was given. Low-grade fever, headache and muscle ache sometimes occur, but should be gone after two days. Serious reactions are rare. One side effect you may have heard about is Guillain-Barre syndrome. 
It occurs rarely after the influenza vaccine, about one in a million vaccinations. You're actually much more likely to get Guillain-Barre syndrome from influenza-like illness than from the vaccine itself. Let's now consider timing. After getting the vaccine, it takes up to two weeks to build immunity, so getting it early sets us up for success. You may think that if you've never had the flu, you don't have to get vaccinated, but that's a risky gamble. And remember, getting the flu shot last year won't necessarily offer protection this year. For most people with allergies and for pregnant and breastfeeding women, the vaccine is considered safe. In fact, vaccinating pregnant women has also been shown to offer protection to newborns in the first few months of their lives. Given all this evidence, I invite you to continue the discussion. Talk to your peers. Good communication reinforces nursing practice from a foundation of knowledge. And I hope you consider what I have to say and do what's best for you so you can continue to deliver high quality and safe services for the public.